the shade The air stays cool True as one And I return to you Hey folks. Well, it's Mr. Frodo's tracks. Frodo's last day. Now, the reason it's his last day is because I've decided to retire him. I moved uh, a few months ago, and I moved too far away to um, track Frodo on a regular basis, so I'm uh, heading down into the woods right now, the old home place, to release him. Or, well, to remove his transmitter and then release him for the last time. And on the way down, check this out. Look what I discovered. Crossing the road. Right down there in front of my car. Looks like a big male box turtle. I might have seen this guy before, but I don't recognize him. He's got a big notch in his shell. So he's probably a new one. He doesn't seem to care that I'm even here. When I first pulled up, he was munching on something. Might be a snail or a slug. I'll have to go out and see. But look at that big notch in his shell. He sure is pretty. Yeah, there's some food hanging from his beak for sure. Look at that. It's a beautiful turtle. Hey there, little guy. I don't see any identification notches on his shell other than that big notch that uh, was probably put in there by a lawnmower or something. Who knows? Let's check him out. He has pink eyes. That's very interesting. Yeah, something got a hold of this guy a long time ago. That's a very old injury. Okay, hey, little guy, let's pick you up and take a look. Wow, look at that. Whatever it was, it didn't damage his foot. Lucky turtle. But look how far up that injury goes. It goes all the way up here, almost to his spine. I would say probably a lawnmower injury. Sure is what that looks like to me. I definitely don't need to mark this guy because, well, that's a very obvious injury. And then, therefore, a very obvious identifier. He'll have that the rest of his life. Very pretty turtle. Yeah, you're a lucky turtle, too. Very lucky. Lucky to live here and lucky to survive that injury. Missing some toes on this foot over here. We'll see how much you weigh. Through this one, and I return to you. Strike a fire, hold back the night. See what remains of all the left behind. I just come for what peace I can find And the mountain's gonna sing this song for me Oh, the mountain's gonna sing this song for me Rock me off to sleep She did tell There in a stillness I learned her lesson well In words forgotten Forever pure Names unspoken And gone forevermore I have nothing left 
let the lead fall her door And the mountain's gonna sing this song for me Frodo. Haven't seen him since May. And this will be the last time we see you officially. Well, I guess I need to pull his transmitter off and let him go. He's right here across from the cabin. His old home place and my old home place. Not anymore. Since I've moved so far away, I can't justify keeping a transmitter on him. So I will be letting him go right now. Alright, well I'm going to get Frodo, weigh him, and take his transmitter off and release him. There he is. The last time we will see Mr. Frodo the box turtle. Good looking turtle. And look at his beak. He has what looks like slug juice all over his beak. Been eating very well, I believe. Feels nice and heavy, looks really healthy. So, all right, Frodo, don't run away. Whoa. He says, I'm getting out of here. This human keeps finding me. How does he do it? Put you back in the hat. I know the hat. You hate the hat. Wow. You're heavy. 700 minus... 140. And the mountain's gonna sing this song for me. Oh, the mountain's gonna sing this song for me. Rock me off to sleep. Proto weighs 570 grams, and that is a really healthy weight for a mailbox turtle in this environment. It's a little bit of work getting the transmitter off, but it will pop off any minute. Oh, just about have it. Have to be careful so you don't injure their shell. Try to do it quick as I can because the, less, the longer I work on him, the more stress it will create. He feels like right now something is attempting to eat him. I'm sure that's what he thinks, but luckily Box turtles have this shell, this amazing shell that protects them from harm. So he's inside his shell right now, doing what box turtles do, evading danger by clamping up tight like a box. All right, and there it goes. All right, perfect. As you can see, shell is in excellent condition 
a couple of little scratches from my knife, but other than that, perfectly fine. Nothing like that turtle we looked at a few minutes ago that had been hit by a lawnmower at some point in the past. He looks fine. And you can see by you can see also a transmitter does no harm to the shell whatsoever. It looks exactly the same as it did a year ago. Scratch some of that glue off of there and release Mr. Frodo. And that ends Frodo's tracks. And we have to release him because, like I said, it's um, just not ethical to keep, keep a transmitter on him when uh, I'm not able to track him more than, you know, once every two or three months. So I'm going to release him right now, right down here beside the cabin at uh, the Fortress of Solitude. And here he goes. Can't think of a better place where this turtle could live. Right down here where I found him in the same orientation looking uphill near that stick. There you go, Frodo. Maybe we'll see you again one day. All the stories that she did tell There in a stillness I learned her lesson well In words forgotten Forever pure Names unspoken And gone forevermore I have nothing left to lay on her door And the mountain's gonna sing this song for me Oh, the mountain's gonna sing this song for me You rock me off to sleep Sing this song for me Whoa.